today, once again, we are going to the park. The park to talk about some things I've been thinking about. To recap, park, talk, think. Very well. So what is the spirit of someone who's uh, born to create or wants to create and wants to be an artist like a uh, painter, a writer, a poet, a dancer, an actor, a playwright, whatever. What is it that makes them want to create and delve into their own little personal world, their imagination? Could it be because the outside world or the present circumstances seem uh, dominating on top of them? That they're in that kind of a uh, controlled environment and told what to do and what to say? Maybe from an early age, they were, uh, you know, had strong-willed uh, controlling people around them, whether their parents or loved ones or uh, siblings or whatever, and uh, kind of it ultimately were forced to find refuge in their own head, their own headspace, their own minds. And uh, within there, they could create something. They could create a world. They could create a poem. They could create a dance. They could create a play, a book, a story, whatever. That was all their own. And they had the final say on what happened and what the person said and what the person did. That was the only place in the world that they could go outside of the real world in order to do that. And maybe that's what gives birth to artists inside the head and the mind and the imagination is the only place they have any control. Could be, maybe. That was an owl. One more thought. If you do want to be an artist, you do want to create, let me paraphrase or recapitulate something I just heard in an interview with uh, producer Rick Rubin. Oh, he said, if you're going to uh, create, create something you want, be your audience. Don't create something that you think somebody wants to see because you'll fail every time. I mean, sure, when you're taking classes, like a writing class or an art class, you're going to have to do what they what the assignment is, what they want you to do. There's nothing wrong with that. But as an independent, as an artist, the best way is to do what you want to do. That way, it's going to be something pure, something beautiful, something outstanding, not something that you think it's going to be judged by anybody else. You be the judge. You be the artist. You be the audience. It's the best way to go. So do something, create something that you want to see. Read something that you want to uh, write. Write something that you want to read. Paint something that you want to look at. Write a poem that you want to read. Create a play, create a dance that you would like to be the audience for. That way, it's going to be honest. It's going to be authentic. There's nothing better than being authentic. When you're authentic, there's a really good chance you're going to be original. 